social media about family failures, justification for abortion, and even a poll on how to define success. I saw where a state trooper who is a year younger than my own son died in the line of duty, leaving a wife and a child behind. And you know what I thought? This world needs a healer because we are broken. We seem to be so busy talking about ourselves that we're missing the reason we were created. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. That comes from Ephesians 2, verse 10. And I like what the message version says in James 1, in verses 26 and 27. It says, anyone who sets himself up as religious by talking a good game is self-deceived. This kind of religion is hot air and only hot air. Real religion, the kind that passes muster before God the Father, is this. Reach out to the homeless and loveless in their plight and guard against corruption from the godless world. The bottom line, it doesn't matter what I think or what you think. We live in a godless world where money talks and we worship self over God. A, word, a world where each one of us believes we deserve the best and nothing else matters, least of all, anyone who disagrees with what we think is right for us. Life is short and God won't force himself on anyone but he desires a relationship with each one of us. We can choose to enter into a relationship with him and it, it's so easy. It's a journey of a lifetime and all we have to do is acknowledge his free gift, grace. We don't deserve it, but Jesus gave his life willingly so that we could have a relationship with God. It's so simple. He'll meet you where you're at and he is in the business of changing hearts. My heart isn't perfect, but it's definitely different than it was back in 1992 when I surrendered my life to him. All the stuff of this world, it doesn't matter. Let's just stop being deceived now.